iPad. iPad? <laughs> okay. Okay. Go get iPad. Go get iPad? Quickly. No, not that way. Can you say, can you say, I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Is she the boss of the house? Oh, definitely. Go pick a book. Go pick a You have a book? Go pick I would love to read the book with you. Would you like me to read it? No. No? <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. I don't always want to read books either. Sometimes it's better just to play with toys. Do you want to read books? No. Do you want to play toys? Yes. Yes? Okay. Hello. It's nice to meet you. I, I love you. I love you more. I love her. I love you the most. Will you give mom a hug? Oh, thank you. Welcome to SBSK. We believe that everybody has a story that's worthy of being heard. When we listen to one another, the world becomes a closer place and we all benefit together. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. When somebody meets Kate for the first time, what do you hope they think? Um, I know they're gonna see that she's different, that's obvious, but um, I hope they would think she's cute, and I think she is. <laughs> we actually think she looks pretty cute. <laughs> Madeline and I love the way she looks, and she's got these incredible cheeks, huh? She's got very kissable cheeks, and her hair that is finally coming in. It's been about five years, six years that she didn't have hair at all, and now her hair's finally growing. I hope they would um, watch her and see the cute things that she does, and maybe think that they'd like to get to know her or come over and say hi. Are you showing everyone your sticker? <laughs> I like that. That's a great place for your sticker. Well, you know what? If you're gonna have a cool sticker for your head, I need to have a cool sticker for my head. I guess I just want them to see her the way I see her. I don't know. She's. She's beautiful to me, and she's smart and funny, and maybe just give her the chance and the time that you need to get to know her. And she can't change the way she looks. She was born that way. She came into this world that way. Um, but what we can do is we can look at her diff differently. Who do you like more, sleepy or dopey? Sleepy. You like sleepy the best? Dopey. A Baku. Baku. Is he your favorite? Baku. What do you and Kate talk about when no one else is around? Uh, we tell stories. <laughs> we, uh, she really likes this show called Super Monsters, and so uh, we make up stories with the characters in the show. I think she has a, a crush on one of the boys in the show named Frankie. Do you like Frankie? Freaky. <laughs> was there any fear when Kate was first diagnosed? Yes, a lot. <laughs> I'd never heard of it before. I didn't even know how to spell it. I still don't know if I know how to spell it. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't really know what Pfeiffer syndrome was or, you know, what it entailed for Kate. We still don't know, kind of like, they don't tell you like a life expectancy or anything like that. They don't. There, there wasn't, wasn't a ton a of cases. There's not a lot of information, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember going in and seeing Kate for the first time in the NICU and she was hooked up to monitors and machines and cords on every limb of her body and her head was wrapped. And I remember um, as her father feeling pretty scared and um, worried for her future. At that moment, Kate, as I was, I was kind of just stroking the back of her hand, she reached up and she latched onto my finger really, really tight. And in that moment I knew that she, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew that she would be okay and she'd be a fighter. Her life is different, 
but it still has all the same important aspects. She still has joy, she still feels pain. I buy a cocoa cake. Oh, cocoa? Cocoa I don't even know what she's saying right now. <laughs> do you two talk a lot? Yeah, we do. Sometimes we don't always understand what she's saying, but she knows what she wants to say. Oftentimes, Kate wants something, and she clearly knows what she wants, but we don't know what it is that she wants. And uh, it's <laughs> she'll sometimes throw a little bit of a tantrum to try to help us understand, but you know, verbally she's not very great at that communication. And so um, sometimes it takes us a while, just do you want this or do you want this? Or trying to find that right thing that she does want. What do you want to do? Do you want a sticker? No. No. I guess she's thinking about it. What do you want to do? Do you want to give mom a kiss? No. Oh, please? Uh. Oh, thanks. How do you know whether to prompt her more or give her time to think? Please. Oh, thank you. Um, I guess. <laughs> it's hard to know. Sometimes you can tell she's thinking like if she just stops for a minute, but other times you can tell she's getting distracted. It gets just time, I've kind of learned. Do people underestimate Kate? Yeah, absolutely. She is actually extremely smart. She knows she can count to 100. She knows all her letters, all her colors. Good. Good job. No. Good job. No. You are so smart. No. Good job. No. We discovered that she started pointing out things and acted like she knew what they were and so we started challenging her and trying different things and quizzing her, I guess. And she just like took to it, like took to learning her numbers and um, her letters. Yay. That is the letter J. What letter is this? I. Q. One day I left the room and we were playing with those little blocks with the letters and she spelled her name by herself. S. G. Great job. I. What animal is that? I. Is that a? Big. Yeah, that is a rabbit. She gets really excited and she's proud of the things that she knows. <laughs> it's fun. You're so smart, my friend. I'm proud of you. And I'm happy you're teaching me all about these letters. What is Pfeiffer syndrome? Pfeiffer syndrome is a syndrome that affects the bones in your body. She also has other things that are uh, outside of Pfeiffer syndrome that she was born with. Um, different chromosomal defects, but Pfeiffer syndrome affects the bones in your body. So when, when babies are born, their sutures in their head are usually open and Kate's were fused. And so when she was born, she came out with a very kind of clover, strawberry shaped head. It's been different than I thought it would be for sure. When I thought about being a mom, um, it, it's been night and day different than that, but it's been better than I thought it would be. It's been really good. Can't imagine life without her, huh? She's a goofball. <laughs> we found out three days before she was born that she had something wrong with her. We actually, her, Madeline's whole pregnancy, um, we thought everything was fine. And then three days before we found out that um, Kate had a little bit more amniotic fluid than normal and they noticed her skull was a little bit different. And so uh, we had a, a special ultrasound and. They confirmed that that was true and there was some other things that they were worried about. And then three days later, it kind of rushed. She came, she was 33 weeks, so she was seven weeks early. So she, she was just little. Do you mind sharing some of the ways in which it has been different than your expectations? Yeah, um, for example, babies kind of have these milestones and my second child is um, healthy or typical and so I've been able to see the difference um, each thing took longer. It took a lot more work. It was harder for her. She was doing, um, she had a lot of surgeries, especially the first couple years of life. And so when you spend your life in the hospital, you can't, you're not spending it learning how to do things. Why is it important for Kate 
and people with a similar diagnosis to be represented in video and media. Because I think people see her and the kids will say words like scary and weird and it's because they haven't seen it before and they're not exposed to people with differences. And I think the more I'm okay sharing Kate because then when somebody sees her, they've already seen her before. Or, they've, or when somebody sees another kid with a similar disability, they've seen Kate and they know about it, I guess. Because I guess the unknown is what's scary or yeah. what's weird. But when you get to know Kate, she's just like any other five-year-old girl. Oh, that's sweet. You're making the prince and the princess dance. Thanks for watching SBSK. Click subscribe here to be part of our community. Then hit the notification bell below so you never miss a story. You can even meet another friend here. See you next time.